All right, guys, let's get started here. So first things first is let's talk about SAVE, which is Spirit Airlines. So Spirit Airlines had news the other day that their merger with JetBlue was being blocked. And because their merger with JetBlue was being blocked, uh, people were anticipating that the company was going to go bankrupt and the stock just totally, totally collapsed, right? Stock totally collapsed from 15 all the way down to four. Now, what ended up happening yesterday was actually very interesting. So stock was going down, stock was going down, stock was going down. And all of a sudden, uh, news came out right here that the company is going to look into restructuring, AKA they're gonna look into some sort of bankruptcy, right? So it turns out that a minute before that this news came out, Dave Portnoy from Barstool Sports bought the stock. He bought the stock and instantaneously the stock cratered, you know, 20%, right? So okay whatever that sucks for him but it is what it is and then a little bit later in the afternoon we got a news a press release came out right around here you can see that the volume came in we got a press release that came out that said hey we're not looking into restructuring that's all bull whatever and then from there that led to the stock ending up bouncing so the news catalyst came in so dave portnoy bought here let's say at 5 30 five dollars and 30 cents news came out a minute later that essentially that spirit airlines is going to go bankrupt about 11 probably about four hours later three hours later another press release came out saying hey we're not even going to do that stuff it's all fake news whatever and then it kind of just ramped up into the close coming into this morning now the company is very very smart and they came out and they said wait a second uh not only are we not going to go bankrupt we're actually looking to have a really good earnings season, right? So these freaking guys, man, these freaking guys, all of a sudden, the stock literally doubled off the lows from $4 to $8. Dave Portnoy was right. Uh, slow, and, slow and behold. So he's up a lot on his position. Now, here is the problem with a stock like Spirit Airlines safe, right? The problem is, yes, the stock is extended uh in the short term from four to eight but it's also beaten down from 15 to seven so it's extremely beaten down it's extremely uh it bounced extremely big off the lows and the problem is that this is a no trade guys it's a no trade and the reason why it's a no trade is in addition to this at any moment at any moment you could see news could come out and the stock could crater 20 percent or news could come out and the stock could ramp 20%. It is too random. It is too random, okay? So stocks like this is just very interesting because you know you don't really know what's gonna happen, right? You don't know what's gonna happen. Is Spirit Airlines gonna go bankrupt? I don't know. Is the merger gonna happen? I don't know. Are their earnings actually gonna be good? I don't know, right? So if I don't know, then I have no edge trading it. So in the past, guys, in the past, like I said, I've been trading for nearly 10 years now. And in the past, if something was moving, I would be trading it. But I learned that oftentimes there are certain stocks that should not be traded because there's too much headline risk. There's too much risk that at any moment, at any second, news could come out. News could come out that says, hey, this stock, you know what? They are going back to court and they're fighting the decision. Save will halt up and open up at 15. Or maybe news is gonna come out and say, you know what? Actually, our earnings aren't looking that good and stock is gonna halt down and open up at two. So it's gonna be too random, guys. Stock is gonna be too random. And because the stock is gonna be too random, I don't really see an edge on this trade. So for everyone asking what happened with Dave Pornoy, what happened with Spirit Airlines, what happened with this, what that happened with that, is long story short, he had some bad luck, immediately stock taking after he bought, and then he had some good luck, and then some even better luck, right? Because at the end of the day, when you're trading something like this, there's no way to know what the news is going to be. The news is going to be good or bad. Stock this morning, whoever's the insiders of this company, thought it'd be a great idea to say that earnings are going to be good. And lo and behold, stock ramps up 30% today.